So nobody likes stealth camping. Um, I'm going to be forced to do it for the next three nights. I'm having some work done on my van in Seattle and uh, it's Friday night tonight and I need to be there early Saturday morning. And then I'm, I'm having the suspension on my van worked on and uh, the alignment shop that I want to go to isn't open until Monday. So I'm going to have a total of three nights, including tonight, of stealth camping. So uh, we're going to see how it goes. Tonight, I'm at this trailhead. I'm at a town outside of Seattle, and uh, I'm definitely not allowed to spend the night here, but I think if I sneak out early in the morning, we're gonna be okay. Um, there's no no parking signs. Uh, I think we just need to keep a low profile. that spot a 3 out of 10. Uh, the big problem with that spot is that anyone who drove by knew that I didn't belong there. So uh, actually at 1am somebody came by and uh, honked their horn at me. They left. They didn't stop though so I, I didn't bother leaving but yeah I kind of wish I just found some street parking. The one thing that spot did have going for it is that it was really quiet. So uh, between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. there were no cars driving by which was really nice I got some good sleep all right so I came here to Safeway um, I'm gonna eat a little food and brush my teeth and stuff it's never good to stay at a spot like that in the morning there's a chance that the people who saw me there last night are gonna come back today um I don't know why people care so much where people in vans sleep like if a van has been somewhere for a few days yeah call the police, let them deal with it. But if somebody wants to park on the side of a road for a night, I don't know why anyone cares. It's not like anyone else is trying to park there. Um, I left before the, the parking around that trailhead was filled up. You don't ever wanna be blocking like trailhead parking or preventing someone else from doing something that they wanna do by uh, sleeping in your van. Oh, banana's gross. We're leaving my van behind, but uh, I got six hours to kill. Got some videos to work on, so let's go find somewhere to post up. Okay, so those guys got the work done on my van super quick. They said, uh, because there is no rust on my van, things went super easy. So that's awesome. The van is riding so much better now. They said both of my front struts were seized and the rear ones were both blown. So um, it's riding right and we're sitting level and it feels so much better. So I'm, I'm super happy with the end result. But anyways, we don't have the alignment until uh, the day after tomorrow. So I've got some time to kill in the city now. Um, this spot is an eye overlander spot. Um, it's just street parking. Seems pretty chill. There's lots of street parking. Um, I pulled up and nobody seemed to bat an eye at me. So I might spend a couple days here or I might just spend tonight here and see if I can find somewhere better for tomorrow night. I'm really glad it didn't take all day to lift my van because I am tired right now. I just got some Mexican food and I am turning in for the evening. I think it's like 6 p.m., but I don't care. I'm just uh, so tired from not sleeping last night. 
so uh, we are gonna sleep tonight that is a guarantee so this spot was all right I'd give it a five out of ten uh, pretty average for camping in a city there was some traffic but not enough that kept me awake it was a little close to the interstate which was just generally kind of loud and uh, level ish I don't know I think for uh, the sake of variety I am going to move on I actually don't know where I'm gonna sleep tonight I might wind up coming back here because uh, Seattle's pretty hilly so it's hard to find a parking site that's even reasonably level and this is a good decent ish quiet option so uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to Planet Fitness right now. I don't have a Planet Fitness membership, but they have this like trial offer thing where you can try out their gym for free. And uh, I've done this twice now and I, they keep sending me codes to get in for free. So I'm just going in there to shower. Okay, uh, there's a sushi restaurant in downtown Seattle that has been in continuous operation for over a hundred years. And uh, I love sushi, so I'm gonna see if I can find a place to park down there. And uh, I wasn't able to get a reservation, but it's sort of first come first serve at the bar. So we're gonna check that out. I've been to Seattle before, and I know that parking downtown is stupid. I think that's the only way of describing it. So I have a backup plan. Um, I'm not gonna try too hard or stress myself out trying to get a spot and trying to go to this place. Um, there's plenty of great sushi joints in the city. And uh, yeah, I have a backup in mind that has a parking lot. So um, we'll see what happens. Well, that was excellent. Uh, I got the heck out of downtown. Um, <laughs> I did have a parking spot. It was about 50 feet from a dumpster and some dude was just chilling in the dumpster. Usually I see people going through dump dumpsters and stuff, but this guy was just like standing in the middle of it and not moving. Um, I don't know, that... <laughs> I, I think what I realized is I really enjoy exploring cities, but I like doing so using public transportation or a fully insured rental car. And I don't like driving my house around cities and I don't like parking my house in cities. Well, we've reached that awkward moment where I'm ready to be parked up for the night, but it's not dark yet. I'm gonna go check out a Home Depot that's on iOverlander that apparently tolerates overnight parking. And I'm just gonna scope it out. And uh, there's an apartment complex nearby that has street parking. So that'll be my fallback plan for the night. Okay, um, some guy just pulled up and decided that he was going to sit in his car and treat me to his music. Oh, he stopped. Okay. Alright, so I don't see any other vans in this lot. I guess the music's not going to stop. <laughs> cool, dude. So, unfortunately, Home Depot's closed, so I can't go inside and ask if I can stay here. And uh, I don't see any other vans in the lot, but I'm kind of making a judgment call looking around. There's a few people just chilling in their cars, and there's a bunch of just random cars in this lot. Um, a lot of these will probably leave before the night is over. Um, I'm sure some of these people stock shelves and stuff at night, but 
it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of enforcement at this lot. It's a nicer neighborhood. This is one of those places that will have no parking signs everywhere in like a year or two. I would put money on it, but I think I'm gonna risk it for tonight. I'm really not too worried about being bothered here. So I think I'll be able to get a good night's sleep. And I have to be out of here um, pretty early in the morning to get my van dropped off for the alignment. So it's not like I'm gonna be staying here too long either way. All right, I'm gonna give this spot a five out of 10. Kind of disappointing. I had higher hopes, but uh, this road over here is uh, pretty loud. And when you're next to like an interstate, it's actually kind of nice because the drone of the vehicles kind of all blends together and it turns into white noise. But there were just randomly really loud vehicles driving up and down the street. Um, and then yeah, some guy, um, kind of passive aggressively yelled at my van at four in the morning when he was showing up to work. And uh, I don't know, he's like, oh yeah, another fucking van. So I don't, I don't know what people's problem is, but um, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, van dropped off, time to get some breakfast. All right, alignment is done. I actually had them lower the front of the van by a quarter of an inch so that it sits level. I have full water tanks and almost a full tank of gas. So this is about as heavy as it gets and the van is now sitting dead level. So that's awesome. I can already tell it rides so much better and uh, yeah, the steering was feeling really light with all the weight in the back and the nose in the air, and now it feels way more balanced driving it around. And also apparently my struts were seized in the front and blown in the back, so um, it feels like driving a new car now, which is awesome. Um, I'm really excited to take this thing off-road. We did technically lose a little bit of ground clearance in the front, but uh, I was mostly struggling with the back of the van dragging on obstacles, so this is going to be great and uh, yeah i'm not trying to do any extreme off-roading in my home anyways feels like i've been in seattle for a week but uh it's actually been less than 72 hours which is kind of crazy but uh yeah i've had enough um, probably gonna grab a quick bite on the way out, get some fuel, and start heading towards the North Cascades. Oh, fuck, no. 